So getting started, you're going to need to have Steam already pre-downloaded alongside Assetto Corsa. Next, you'll want to look up acsstuff.ru. This will bring you to the page where you can download the light or paid version of Content Manager. It's highly recommended that you get the full version of Content Manager. Though it's not necessary, it still supports the creator of Content Manager and also allows you to get certain features and updates before everybody else. Once downloaded, Content Manager will ask for the root folder of Assetto Corsa and your Steam ID. And below that, you'll be able to enter in a name that everybody will be able to see when you join lobbies. If you downloaded the light version, once you open up Content Manager for the first time and ever decide to switch over to the full version, you'll be able to do that at the top right of the screen. In the settings tab, you'll need to download the latest version of Custom Shaders Patch. Before we get to Cars and Tracks, you'll need to download Soul or Pure, as a lot of servers don't allow you to hop on without one of these two. And everybody's favorite part, the Cars and Tracks. Simply by going to simhq.com, we have an array of different cars and tracks that you can download. Lastly, you'll just need to tweak settings to accommodate your computer and driving style. 